nothing about this. I know a little bit about like trail riding. Uh, we, did a, we did a bit of that. I survived, so that went well. Uh, there you go. So now you have to teach me a little bit about these machines. Right. But first of all, I want to know, like, you, it's a big passion of yours. Yeah. Am I right? Correct. What, what do you love about this? Freedom. Well, I do it with my, uh, my little one, my, my husband. Uh, we have friends that share that same passion. Uh, it becomes a lifestyle and uh, you, you, you learn something new every, every time you go ride. I can imagine. And just these landscapes. I mean, I can see how someone would get hooked. <laughs> exactly. You know, you could have fun on, on a hill like this for hours. Yeah. Uh, you could have fun, you know, up there as well. And it's, it's just that you, you push yourself to the limit and, and you, you learn. You fall, you fall. I bet you do. You fall, <laughs> you shovel for hours. <laughs> But you still come back next weekend. Like, you know, it's, 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 it's a passion. It's a little different uh, from what you've learned uh, over the last couple of days. Uh, these guys uh, are made uh, for deep snow. You ride like this. Standing. 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 Exactly. Right. That's the number one. That's the number one. You always make sure you got your throttle going on. And you know, oh, you see that you're, it's getting slower. Oh, I, I think I'm gonna get stuck. You pin and you wiggle. So you wiggle that snow machine. You move that machine so you get more traction. And at the same time, you're gonna you're gonna pin it, and you're gonna have more traction going on, and you're gonna get out of there. Uh, you saw me earlier, I was talking to you about, um, you know, the wrong foot forward. Yeah. So if ever, you know, you need to be on a side hill, that's just the way you're going to do it. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're really putting your weight, like, way out there. Exactly. And even you can work, you know, your way up a mountain like this, because now you have a feet. You have the throttle, but you have a feet as well. And you have a little, little seat. Ooh, little much feet. Smaller. Less comfortable, but that's not the point here. You don't want to be you want to be up on your machine. Yeah. Okay. So, and if ever you need to transfer your body from one side to the next, you need to have something that's not going to be in your way. Yeah. And that you're going to be able to do your wrong foot forward from the other side easily. So, well, this grasshopper has a lot to learn. <laughs> so, why don't we go out and eventually sure. I want to see you do some tricks. Yeah. We'll you, I need you to inspire me. <laughs> I'll try to do that. <laughs> and I'll do my best to follow. Perfect. All right. We're Thank you. To go. Yeah. I can't believe how easy it looks, but it's really not. <laughs> snow it's part of the game baby it's part of the fun isn't it that's right <laughs> that's right all right let's shovel this baby out and then we continue This sport is really one of a kind. Um, one tip I can give you though is make sure that you have the right to ride before going out. Uh, thank you, Cece. I had such a good time watching you anyway. the end 
of this day of backcountry snowmobiling. It was an incredible experience. So inspiring to see Cece do all of all of her tricks. Uh, and I hope, you know, maybe one day I'll get there too. I'm definitely not there yet, but with practice, you never know what you can do. Uh, she's really inspired me to, to push my limits. And I really feel like I have pushed my limits today. You know, you have to go at your own pace, but not give up. So uh, ladies, don't give up. Do like CC. <laughs> Take care.